Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this modern title animation in After Effects. It's very easy to create and you can use it for any kind of text. So let's begin. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and we'll begin by creating a new composition. So let's call this one main, width and height will be 1920 by 1080, frame rate 30 FPS and duration you can pick whatever you want. Just click on OK. Now we'll begin by adding our text. So for that, let's select the text tool. Just click and you can type whatever you want. I'm going to type minimal. And for the font, you can use whatever you want. I'm going to use this Montserrat, let's pick extra bold italic font like that. And let's place it in the center using the align panel. Now let's make sure that it's anchor point is in the center. So you can select the layer, hold on the control key and double click on this. Now let's select this and I'm going to press S. Let's scale this down. Now let's make it at an angle. So press R and it's completely up to you. You can use whatever angle you want. Let's set this to something like negative 15. Maybe that's too much. Let's set this to negative 12. Yeah, I think this looks perfect. So let's select this and I'm going to duplicate this and let's type one more text. Let's type clean and press S to scale this down. Now let's just place it somewhere over here. Let's press Ctrl D and again, it's completely up to you. You can use whatever text you want. You can type whatever and just place them wherever you want. Perfect. So right now we have everything. Now we can select all of them. Let's animate them by pressing P. Let's add keyframe. Let's move them to somewhere around one and a half second. Now the title, we can make it appear from whatever angle we want. Now let's select the bottom layer. So we have the minimal. I'm going to just move it to this side. Again, you can zoom out to do it precisely. Like that. Now let's select the other titles. So let's select clean and I'm going to make it come from this side. So let's align it like that. Perfect. So now if I press play, you can see we have all of these titles coming in. Let's select the keyframes, press F9. Let's go to the graph editor. If your graph looks different, make sure you're using the speed graph, not the value graph. Now let's select the endpoints and I'm going to change the graph to look something like that. So now if I press play, you can see we have much better animation. Now we can add delay to these. So first we want the clean to come up. So let's place it over here. So first clean. Then we can have the minimal. So let's offset these by a couple of frames. And after that, we have the title like that. Perfect. So once we're done with this, we are ready to add some nice lines. So for that, let's create a background. So right click new. Let's add a solid. Just make it whatever color you want. And on this one, let's apply grid and let's search for CC grid and let's drag it over here. And under the size, we can set this to width slider and Let's set this to something like this. Perfect. Now we can do one more thing. We can press R and let's rotate it. So let's rotate it at negative 12, which we have done for the text as well. Now we can press S to scale this up. Let's scale this so that it covers the entire screen. Now we can play around with the width over here. Let's set this to something like 50 or maybe a little bit more like that. Perfect. Now border, we can just load this down something like that. Perfect. So here we have our outline and we can do one more thing. Let's add a background, right click new. Let's add a solid and let's make it a little bit grayish. Just click on OK. Let's place it at the bottom. Perfect. Now we can select this top one, press T and let's load down its opacity. Perfect. So before we continue, if you enjoy my work and you want to support me, then you can check out my Patreon page. Over there, you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. So if you want to support me, make sure to check it out. Link for that is in the description. So let's continue. Now we can select the pen tool and we can start adding some random lines. Just make sure that these lines will be on these grid. And for that, we can start from here. Let's click over here and Let's pick a point, something like that. So now all of these lines will be aligned with this grid. So let's click over here and let's click one at this point. Now we don't need any kind of fill. So let's click on fill, set this to none. We actually want stroke. So let's crank this up to something like 40 or 50. Let's set this to 45. Perfect. You can play around with the angle however you want like that. Now we have one of these. Now I'm going to select this and let's add some trim path animation. So right click, let's go to add, let's add trim path. Now let's go to the trim path. We can set the starting point to zero. 
let's add keyframe for both of these let's go to somewhere around here set the endpoint to 100 and the start to 100 as well let's select the keyframes press f9 let's go the go to the curves and we can change it to look something like this now in order to make this appear we can select these endpoints and let's just move them a little bit ahead so that we have the sort of lines now again you can play around with these and you can just make them however you want so for example if you want this then you can go with this look yeah, i think this one looks perfect so once you're done with this we are ready to just simply duplicate this and just keep on adding these lines so let's press ctrl d to duplicate this now we can select these points so let's pick this point and just place it somewhere around here let's pick the second point and we can probably zoom in and let's place it over here and for the next point we can just move it a little bit down over here and for the last point we can just place it wherever we want let's place it over here again you can play around with their angle like this now if you want to continue the line then you can just simply select the pen tool and make sure that the last vertex or the point is selected then you can just keep on adding points like this perfect so we have this line as well now let's select this press ctrl d and let's move one over to this side so just randomly place these points wherever you want so let's make it come from the bottom let's pick one point over here one at this point now if you don't want any point then you can select this hold down the control key then you can see that it will change this to this negative sign now we can delete these points and let's place one to this one and let's add one over here now i don't want this last point so again i can hold on the control key and just click over here perfect so we have added this line as well now in the same way just keep on duplicating and just adding a bunch of different lines over here now i have added all the lines so if i press play you can see we have created this sort of animation now we can offset them a little bit so just randomly pick a couple of these points and just have some random offset like that perfect so here we have everything now we can add some colors to them it's very easy all you have to do is just select one of these and let's search for gradient ramp and just drag it on to this now we can change its color so we can select the gradient ramp and over here you can see we have these endpoints so this is black and we can just place it somewhere around here and this is white we can place it at this angle like that now we can change the colors so i'm going to select this one and let's make this little bit pink like this we can probably place this at somewhere in the middle so somewhere around here and this one at the edge like this and we can just change its value to something like this yellow so that we have this very nice gradient fall off now we can copy and just simply paste it onto a bunch of different layers so let's paste it over here and make sure if you are pasting it onto the other side then just simply switch the colors so we have pink over here and we can just place it like that let's pick one of these and just paste it over here as well and let's copy this and just paste it onto this line like that so here you can see we have added the color now let's pick this one this one we can paste it over here and over here let's change the colors so i'm going to make this like that and this one we can make it dark little bit perfect now just make sure to change their positions so let's copy this and just randomly paste them onto different layers now i have changed colors of all of these days now if i press play you can see we have created this very minimal and colorful title reveal animation and the best thing is that if you want to change the text all you have to do is just simply double click on any of these and you can just simply replace it with whatever you want and all the animations will be already applied so this is how you can create these kind of clean and minimal title animations and the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you are supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one